Hello everyone. So today we will see the remote environment monitoring system. So what is remote environment monitoring system? So previously we saw we took the environment data that is the temperature and humidity and displayed it on our LCD. But here only thing is for an example if I want to observe the humidity and temperature of certain place I want to know what is the humidity and temperature of my room so I need to place the device on my room and after that whenever I want to know I need to go to my room look at that LCD then only I get to know what is the temperature and humidity so it is not quite a convenient way right so now we are gonna make this system in a such a way that for an example any person put at the device in any room or anywhere wherever he want to observe the environmental data like temperature and humidity so he can get that data from internet only okay so for this purpose today we are gonna see and use the Arduino IoT cloud so what will happen we will create one dashboard on Arduino IoT cloud and any person log into that particular dashboard then he can see that environmental data and even in the better way in LCD display we can just show the numbers but here we will use the gauges and the graphical way to show that same data so I hope you understood the project now let's start building it so we all know this is ESP8266 node MCU module and this is my DHT11 that is digital humidity and temperature sensor so now let's quickly do the connections we all are aware of the pins of DHT11 that is the VCC data and ground so let's make the connections quickly now first of all I will connect VCC that is the first pin to 3 volt pin in ESP8266 module here I hope you can see written 3 volt 3V so done now let's connect the data pin so data pin I am connecting to the GPIO 13 so GPIO 13 in board it is written as D7 so here you can see the D7 just beside it okay data pin is also connected now let's connect the ground pin so here I took the pin from the ground pin of DHT11 here you can see the G symbol G indicate the ground so now let's connect this ground to ground that's it our connections are completely done so now let's see how to set up the Arduino IoT cloud and how to upload a code in our node MCU module so that we can get our environment data from anywhere anytime okay so now let's quickly jump onto the system and let's see So, once we made the circuit, now let's jump on to the software part. So, software part includes setting up the Arduino IoT cloud and the code. So, you need to just follow the steps. If you are doing this first time, it could be confusing, but believe me, it is pretty easy once you are done once or twice. Okay. So, 
first of all i am on my chrome and here in url bar i will type cloud.arduino.cc so once i am done that i will just sign in so here it will ask the option so i will select using google okay now i am signed in now i need to click on this get start button So once this is done, what I need to utilize? I want to utilize IoT Cloud. So let me click on IoT Cloud. So oh, it's opening. Great. If it is your first time, you will see this is screen. Now let's create the key. So let's give the name uh, Okay. Great. Now I need to do some things. First of all, in environment monitoring system, what I am doing. I am taking the temperature and humidity data from my surrounding and I am displaying it in Arduino IoT Cloud. So let's add the variable. So for the temperature, I would need one variable. So let's give the name temperature only. Okay. And here in the variable type, okay, it is special character. So I can't give the name directly temperature. So let's capitalize the T with the help. Okay, now I'm going to use the non. So I temperature, uh, let's say. T1. Okay. Now let's select the variable type. The special character also is not there. So I will do temperature 0 1. Okay. So now let's select the type. So in type, I will select the floating point number. Okay. So I am just reading the temperature, correct? So it is read only. And as well as I am checking the temperature periodically instead of on change. So let's keep it periodic. Let's keep it one second only. Add variable. Okay, variable is added. Now let's add second variable. Our second variable is humidity. So humidity, uh, call it zero one also. And I need it as a floating point number it is also read only i need to check it periodically okay great both of our variable is like set it up so now i need to associate it with the device so let's select the device okay there is no device let's set up the new device so i am using the third party device that is esp8266 okay so let's select that. Here it came ESP8266. In this, I need to select generic, generic ESP8266 module. So okay. Uh, uh, let's give it give the name uh, monitoring device. Monitoring. Okay device cool now let's just click on next so here here it will ask to save the secret 
key. Okay. So first, see, we can't get secret key again and again. So it is pretty important. I need to download the secret key. So let me just download it. Okay, I downloaded it. I copy also and I will put paste it in my notepad here. Okay. So that's I saved my secret key. Continue. Done. After that, I need to link it to my network, right? So let me give you my network name. So my network name is standard 4.4. Password. I'm putting my password. You put your password. And here is my secret key. Let's save it. Good, great. Our device is ready. Now we need to do some things on code. So let's open it in full editor. Okay. So this is my code. I need to add some things here. So first of all, I'm using DHT 11 sensor, correct? So let me just include the library of DHT 11 sensor. Just I include uh, dht dot h. No need to worry. Actually, you will get this code. Okay, you will get this code. So no need to worry. So I am telling dht uh, dht. I am defining the class pin number thirteen at d zero is pin number thirteen. And here the type of DHD device is DHD 11. Done. Great. Now let's move to the setup part. Here I will do DHD dot begin. Great. So now let's what will happen here. It already created two variables float humidity and float temperature. So I can directly use this variable. Okay. Here, let me do it. Float humidity is equal to float, uh, what was that function? DHT dot uh, read humidity, correct? Read humidity and our second variable is temperature right so i will do temperature is equal to float dht dot read Temperature. Temperature. Okay. So now this code is done. Okay. So now let's just download this sketch like this. Okay, it will download the sketch. Now we need to extract this sketch. So let's extract it. So I will select download. You can extract anywhere you want. Okay, it is extracted. I will just open up the sketch by sketch by going to that location. Okay. So I open the sketch. So inside the sketch, what you need to do, you need to go to the Arduino secret. Here you need to put your SSID, that is your Wi-Fi name. So that was Xander 2.4G. It is for me. Yours will be different. Okay. And here 
my password. This is actually my mobile number. I can't show you my original password. And the device secret key. So we saved it, correct? There was a reason we saved it. Let's just copy it. And paste it here. Okay, good, great. Now let's compile it. Let me connect my ESP8264 to my system. And done. Let's compile it. I am not uploading it right now. I didn't show you the dashboard. So from where it should be decided. Okay. So I will show you first the dashboard. And one more thing is PHT should be in capital. Okay. This is what I wanted to bring. So now let's first design the dashboard. After that, we will see how to upload it. Okay. So here again, let's go to the Arduino Cloud. Here to the dashboard. I don't have the dashboard. Let's build the dashboard. Let's give the name in. Environment Ring Dashboard. Okay, so here names is added. Let's add first of all for humidity. Let's add the percentage. Okay. So let's link the variable. We created the humidity variable, right? So let's link it. Let's give the name humidity in percentage. Give symbol. Done. Now let's add one gauge. Uh, yes, this gauge for the temperature. So name should be temperature. Here in uh, C Celsius. Okay. Uh, let's link the variable. That is the temperature. Link done. So I can adjust the layout of this thing like this, like this, like. This. Let's go to the top. Let's make it somewhat bigger. Okay, looking good. Here, let's make it a little bit. Okay, looking good. Uh, done. Okay, so here our dashboard is done. Now let's upload our code. So for uploading the code, again go to the Arduino IDE. Here, I already selected the port and port. Let's hit on the upload button. And it's compiling. Connecting it, start uploaded, uploading. Okay, upload it. Let's watch the serial monitor. Connected to the center to point four G. Okay, this is my string ID. 
Okay, it is connected. Now let's jump on to the dashboard. So you can see this is my temperature and this is my humidity. It is showing me in real time. So now if I disconnect my device also from my system and if I connect it to any other power source also, it will perfectly work. And as well as you can access this data from your mobile devices also. You need to just download the app, uh, Arduino IoT Cloud app and log in with the same email what you have logged in here and you will find the same data there also. So now you can remotely monitor your environmental data. That is wherever your device is placed, that environment data you can remotely monitor. So I hope you enjoyed this and you learned how to set up the Arduino Cloud, how to like create the dashboards, things, variables, and how to make the environment, remote environment monitoring system. So that's it for today's video. See you in the next video. Till then, bye.